uh, this is a little history lesson on the bug out bag, where that whole term comes from. You didn't know this? So, the term bug out, I know you're thinking like, well, bugs and out, right? But that doesn't make any sense. It actually comes from the French survivalist Jean Bougot. Jean Bougot was a survivalist from the 1600s. Uh, he was in the town of, where was that volcano? Pompeii, yeah. Well, he was there for a summer, summer break off of college. I don't think the French had hard G's in their name. Uh, he was French, Greek, Italian. His mom was Italian, Greek, and his dad was French. Canadian. Okay. That's it is. So he was there, and he's one of two people that survived the volcano. And they asked afterwards, the newspaper interviewed him, and they asked him, you know, how did you survive? And he didn't understand what they were saying because they were, um, I think they were Russian, and he only spoke Spanish. And he just held up a bag. And the bag was full of survival stuff. And he just showed the bag and then he ran off. <laughs> and so that became the term. Uh, you'd have to look it up. I don't know what it is in Russian. Uh, but then in that, from Russian, it transferred in World War II uh, as the Russian and American soldiers were fighting alongside each other at the end. And then they were talking like, oh, I saw you grab that bag before you went and ran. And they were like, oh. It's a bug out, a bugle bag, and it got misinterpreted into bug out, and that's how we came up with the term bug out bag. So, so just to be clear, this guy is a French Greek Italian. That French is Canadian. Fr- <laughs> French Italian, Greek, Greek Canadian Italian. French Canadian Italian Greek. Oh, okay, and he's one of two survivors from Pompeii, uh-huh. which happened in like the 14th century. I think it was like 400 Four- BC. 1400 BC, 400 BC, yeah. whatever it is. Ch, I don't know. And know. then he met U.S. Russian, Russian newspaper people. Uh huh. But where did the U.S. come in? That was later on. That's when it went from the Russian. The Russian term was used for a long time, and then later on, when the U.S. and Russia was fighting in World War II, that's how it became an American term and turned into American English from Russian from Spanish. Oh, I'm so glad we got that cleared out. Yep. <laughs> so, take that one to the bank, folks. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was a good history lesson for you. You can tell all your friends that story. Tell your history teachers that story. See if they can prove it wrong. If they can't. Because <laughs> I don't think anybody survived Pompeii. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, only the Russians know because they were there to interview with the newspaper. All right, all right, all right. And that ends. All right, all right, all right.